poppin' zonies, it's Pastor Jonathan. And I'm Miss Alex. And I have a brand new big idea I want to share with everybody, but I'm not going to say it unless you ask. Oh, what's the big idea? I'm sorry, that wasn't loud enough. What's the big idea? Okay, that was a little too loud. Drum roll, please! Are you done? Yeah. Thrill ride! It's thrill ride. Well, oh wait, mm, no, no. I mean, well, what, what if, what if thrill rides? What if they scare you a little bit and they scare you worse than a dinosaur and a evil clown with a curly mustache put together? I'm just asking for a friend. Whoa, of whoa, hey, 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 hey! You calm down. Okay. You. Okay. All right, sit back and relax. Okay. Because I'm gonna take that fear and turn it into a cheer. Oh, did you just come up with that? No, I practiced it in my mirror this morning. Oh. Roll it! Have you ever been on a roller coaster? This is the worst part. The part when you're not really sure you want to do this ride, and you realize you forgot to pee, and you're regretting all your life choices, and you just want to get off right now! We're not even at the top yet. I know. Don't you love the suspense? No, it's terrible! Oh, I think you're missing the point. Which is... Roller coasters are supposed to be fun! They twist and turn and go really, really super fast, and man, it's great. But what if I scream? Oh, you should. Well, what if I puke? <laughs> That'd be funny. What if I fly off the track and die? Okay, I don't think that's gonna happen, but what a cool way to go. Okay, but what if I panic and swallow my spit and it makes me choke and my head explodes? You know what? I'm getting off. Okay, I get it. It's hard to know for sure you'll be okay, but that's where trust comes in. And when you trust, you don't have to be afraid. That's what the Bible tells us. Are there roller coasters in the Bible? Uh, I don't think so. But our Bible table verse is pretty close to a roller coaster. Isaiah 40, 31 says, but those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They will soar high on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. Faint? I didn't even think about that. What if I faint? I am not okay. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Here we go. No, we don't. You'll love it. You just gotta hang on to Jesus. What? I said hang on to Jesus. What? Hang on. Jesus! That was amazing. I told you. You want to go again? No. Whew. Well, the big idea is throw ride. That's right. And the Bible table verse is Isaiah 40, 31. Isaiah 40, 31. Nice job. But those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. Let me hear you say new strength. That's right. They will soar high on wings like eagles. Let me see those eagles. They will run and not grow weary. Boys and girls, run! They will walk and not faint. Turn to your neighbor and say, no fainting. That's correct. Now, here's how we do it. Thrill ride! Hang on. Definitely is. Boys and girls, it is time for the bigger big idea. Who has the bigger big idea? We'll let the big o meter decide, starting with the ladies. All right, thrill ride. Hang on. <laughs> Get Man, that was a lot. My turn. Thrill ride. Hang on. <laughs> I feel pretty good about that. Boys and girls, now it's your turn. Let's see what you got. One, two, three. Thrill ride. Hang on. Jesus! Ah! All right, good work all around, Miss Alex. Yeah. Uh, but we gotta let the big O meter decide, so let's take a look at the results. <laughs> what? Do you guys win again? But what about me? They always win. When do I win? I need this win. Oh, we're gonna win someday. You know what though, you know what? What? Let's just, PJ. Yeah. Can I ask you a question? You just did. Oh, can I ask you another question? <laughs> you just did. Can I ask you another question? You just did. Thank you. Um, you know what? That's enough questions from you. Great. Boys and girls, it's time for questions from you. <gasps> because you know what? It's time for the Mail Storm!
Wow. Ooh, that was quite a storm. Well, boys and girls, if you have questions for us, get your parents' help and send those questions in to mailstorm at gfczone.tv. Wait, if it's an email address, then what's with the envelopes? Well, it's just for effect. Got it. This month's topic is trust, yes. boys and girls. So we asked you to ask your best questions about trust, send them in, and here's what we got. Let's see what we got here. All right, well, the first one comes from Sarah, second grade, and she says, Dear Zone, my friend told me to smell his finger. Should I trust him? <laughs> Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. Good question. In my experience, there is a stark difference between good smelling fingers and bad smelling fingers. Please, take a look at this graph. Okay? Now listen, I'm not here to judge your friend, okay? Maybe his finger smells like strawberries or flowers, but the real question is, do you trust your friend? I certainly wouldn't, mm -hmm. but that's okay. Moving on, we've got another letter. This one's from Dakota in fifth grade. She says, Dear Zone, my friends don't really get it when I talk about trusting God. Can you help explain why we should trust him? Dakota. That's an amazing question. I mean, why should we trust God? Sometimes we can't see him, we don't know what he's doing. But to answer your question, Miss Alex, let's build a Bible. Peter is a historical figure who lived about 2,000 years ago. He was a fisherman, which meant he spent a lot of time in boats staring at the water. It's safe to say he had a healthy respect for the danger of that water. But Peter started to spend a lot of time around Jesus, too. He saw Jesus do a lot of things he thought were impossible. Things like healing Peter's own mother-in-law or calming a raging storm. After seeing all this, could Peter trust Jesus? What do you think? One night, Peter and the other disciples were on a boat without Jesus. The waves were crashing against the boat and causing them to drift. But as the disciples hung on, they saw Jesus coming after their boat by walking on the water. If that sounds unbelievable, even with tiny little brick people, just imagine how Peter must have felt seeing it happen in real life. At this moment, Peter decided he could trust Jesus and he wanted to show it in a big way. So he stepped out on the water and walked toward Jesus. Walking on waves, total thrill ride. But it didn't take long for Peter to realize he really needed Jesus' help. He was sinking. He hung on to Jesus, who pulled him up and back into the boat. Phew, that was a close one. So what do you think, boys and girls? When Peter stepped out, yeah, he almost drowned, but he did walk on water. So worth it or not worth it? I want you to raise your left hand if you think worth it. All right, now raise your right hand if you think, eh, not worth it. Oof. Well, I'm a thrill ride guy, so I'm gonna have to say, worth it! And to prove my point, I'm gonna take a trip. All right, bye. Yeah, I'm going to. All right, boys and girls, here I am outside of one of the scariest rides of all time. I'm talking about Cheetah Hunt at Busch Gardens, Tampa Bay. How many of you guys ever get a little nervous when you're about to go on a roller coaster? Yeah, I'm feeling a little bit of the, the nerves, but that's okay. Okay, while I'm standing in line for this ride, I'm gonna talk to you about how it is totally worth it to step out and trust God. Come on. Stepping out and trusting God is good because it reminds us that we need him. Sure, we need him to do amazing things, but we also need him to do completely normal things. Okay, think about it. Let's all take a deep breath together. Ready? In, out. See, we needed God for that. The Bible tells us in Genesis 2, 7 that we have God to thank for the breath that keeps us alive. I mean, how many breaths did you take today? Exactly, you have no idea, and neither do I. We depend on God every second of every day for every breath, and most of the time we don't even realize it. We need him more than we know. And this is why we can trust him. Because just like he never fails to put breath in our lungs, he'll never fail to lead us through our fears. That was amazing. Well, congratulations, you survived. Thank you. You know what 
I think we've learned here today hmm. is that fear is a lot like a roller coaster. Yeah, it may be scary at first, but when you realize that you already depend on God, then you can step out and trust him and, you know, you might just have the thrill ride of your life. Wow, that was really well said. My question is, can you say this in seven seconds? Boys and girls, it's time for the seven second summary. Miss Alex against the clock, starting in three, two, one, go! Why trust God? Because we need him to take our next step and our next breath. And when we realize that God is taking care of us, life can be a thrill ride. So step out and trust Jesus. Wow, that was really close. You almost didn't make it, but good job. Oh, thanks. It was impeccable. And speaking of impeccable, boys and girls, it's time for our big idea. If you're ready, stand to your feet, because we are gonna do this together. That's right, stand up on your feet. If you got anybody sitting down next to you, tell them to stand up, stand up, stand up. Yes, Alex, are you ready? Oh, of course, of All course. All right, here we go, on the count of three. One, two, three, 